In this video, you will learn how to create a clustered stacked bar chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here, I have the data about the corona cases in different cities during different months of 2018, 2019 and 2020. If you look at this graph, currently you can see here, the years are main categories and the months are subcategories and the corona cases in different cities are displayed in the form of these bars. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, arrange your data like this one. Currently, you can see here first column shows the years, second column shows the months and these are without headers and remaining column shows the corona cases in different cities. So firstly, I will select this data. After selecting this data, go to insert tab. And here you will find the option of chart groups. Under chart groups, you will find the option of insert column or bar chart. Select this one. And here you will find the option of stacked column chart. Select this one. I will place it here. And resize it. Click on this chart element option after selecting this graph. From here, I will deselect grid lines. I am interested to insert data labels, so I will check this option. After that, I will move to axis title and I want to insert axis title on only Y axis. Click here and here you will find the option of primary vertical, select this one. Click here. Now select this chart title. Click on this formula bar and write your title. Corona cases in Pakistan. Press enter. Go to home tab. And from font group, you can adjust its font size and style. I will choose black color and bold this title. Similarly, select Y axis title. It indicate Corona cases. Click here. Delete existing data. And write axis title. Now again select this one and from font group you can adjust it font size 12 and black color. Again double click on this format painter option to copy this format and click here and click on this legend. Now click on these Y axis values, right click, here you will find the option of format axis. From here go to fill and line option and from here I will choose solid line, scroll down, select the color of line, black and from here I will adjust width of this line 1.5 pt. Now I will move to this axis option. If you scroll down you will find the option of tick mark select this one and from here I will select major type outside and minor type outside. Now select on this X axis, go to fill and line option. From here in line option, select solid line. And from here I will choose width 1.5 pt. Now I will close this one. Click on this bar. Right click. And here you will find the option of format data series, select this one. 
from here i will adjust gap width to 12 you can use this slider option or you can use these arrows you can also manually write here i will write 12 click on this excel sheet now click on this bar now you can see here only portion of this bar is selected right click and here you will find the option of format data series select this one go to fill and line option from here select solid fill choose the color if you scroll down you will find the option of border select solid line and from here i will adjust border width to 1 pt black color is already selected similarly click on second portion of this bar and repeat this procedure solid line choose color and from here select solid line in border choose black color and 1 pt width Similarly select third one and fourth one and repeat this procedure. Click on any data label and from font you can select it font size and style, bold, black color and 10 size. Double click on this format vendor option and click on remaining data labels deselect this one again select this data label option right click here you will find the option of format data labels select this one and from here you will find different options label contain values from cell series name category name values show letter lines if you scroll down you will find the option of label position either center inside end or inside base i will close this one now i want to insert a space between these categories select this line now you can see here this line is selected place your cursor on this line and right click and from here i will choose insert microsoft excel will insert a blank row similarly select this one right click and choose insert now you can see here microsoft excel has inserted a blank row now select this blank cell and press space button then press enter select this one and press space button and then press enter now you can see here we have completed the formatting of cluster stacked bar chart in microsoft excel if you are interested to insert total value on these bars, then separate video tutorial is available on our channel. You can watch that video for more detail. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.